So season 6 has been eventful. Obviously we had the addition of the sea forts and we tackled some awesome adventures. But Rare also added a new voyage type for Pirate Legends. And this might be one of the best additions this game has gotten in a long time. So originally I just wanted to write a review about this voyage and give some insight into the lore. But that video wasn't really working out and I quickly realized I'd rather make a video about why I like this voyage so much. So let's go over the 5 main reasons why the Legend of the Veil vale voyage is super duper awesome. Reason number 1. It's hard to lose your progress. So this might not be all too obvious to some players, but it is really hard to lose your quest items during this voyage. Sea of Thieves struggled with this in the past where Talltales often had items you could lose. Or maybe some dickheads stole your quest items or you got sunk resulting in those items sinking to Davy Jones Locker. Eventually Rare decided to make checkpoints for the Talltales and even the recent adventure The Shrouded Deep made it impossible to lose your flares or your effigies. And yeah, those are great additions. Sadly, one checkpoint for the Shores of Gold enables players to run away into the Shroud. And I know this is tempting to do, but don't. Often the crew chasing you also have the Shroud Breaker, and it just ends up with you sinking and everybody wasting their time. But back to this voyage. It is true that your Veil Stones can get stolen or, you know, lost, but as soon as they are safely in the Veil of the Ancients, you should be good. If your ship sinks, it will reappear with the stones still attached to this. And this is a huge step up from past Tall Tales and even some past voyages. And I'm sure there are some pirate legends watching right now that probably lost a chicken coop or two during the original Athena voyages. And yeah, those people know exactly what I'm talking about. Reason number two. There is a lot of variety. So Sea of Thieves can be a game with a lot of similar objectives. A lot of voyages repeat themselves, but with different islands and other locations. And those going for all the commendations, these voyages can feel even more repetitive. But this voyage does its best to offer a unique experience every step of the way. Sometimes we need to contact Bell and interact with ancient beacons. Or we explore a shipwreck graveyard searching for a key. Each Veilstone has a different story of how it got to a certain place and I love this variety in both gameplay and lore. The first couple of times I did this voyage I didn't even interact with Sots. So when I did it felt like getting new content within my new content. And yeah, we need to do this voyage about a hundred times to complete all the commendations, and I'm sure these two will feel repetitive eventually. But when you compare it to other voyages, this feels like a proper adventure with lots of different stuff to do before the end. And I think that's great. Reason number three, it's a real pirate legend voyage. In the past, players needed to grind for months to reach Pirate Legend, but we were promised a unique voyage that gave a different experience. But what we got was a voyage that basically was more tedious grinding. Obviously, we also get some unique cosmetics, but when it comes to voyages, it just felt like getting more homework from your teacher because you already finished all your other stuff. Yeah, the Athena's runs were a little bit better, but they still, you know, they still sucked a little. This voyage finally gives you a real reason to become Pirate Legend. Ramsey is there to talk to us, but so are Suts and Bell. We get rewarded with lore and it features objectives catered to experienced players. It doesn't do this by giving skeletons more health, but by giving harder maps to decipher, as it should be. Nowadays when people ask if it's worth it to become a Pirate Legend, we can finally tell them yes. Oh, how the times have changed. Reason number four. It completes the season. Another obvious one, but it certainly needs to be mentioned. Past seasons dumped all their content at the beginning and left us with some boring weeks during the end. Season six doesn't do this. Obviously, the adventures really help, but let's not forget these are time limited. This voyage isn't and it's a great way to fill the second half of the season. Rare hasn't confirmed we can expect future seasons to be like this, 
But I do hope so, since it feels awesome to always get some new content. I do wonder a little bit about the future of this voyage. Obviously, it's a great continuation of the third adventure, but eventually the story will move past the Legend of the Veil vale story. Will these voyages change, or will we get a brand new legendary voyage that will use the same commendations? Who knows? I guess we will find out eventually. So the last reason is also my favorite. It's great for PvP. As most of you guys already know, the ending to this voyage is always the same. But it's a great one. And not only do we get an epic finale, it also attracts other players. I mean, that big tornado is hard to miss and it does kind of feel like an on-demand world event. And that's great! And you can even expect the ships doing this event to already have some loot on board. Some of that is probably Athena loot, so it's a great opportunity for both Athena and Reaper emissaries to check out this tornado whenever it appears. And if you don't like defending your loot from PvP, well, that's too bad. You are a pilot legend. It's time to act like one. So by this point in the video, you might be wondering when I will start talking about the lore surrounding this voyage. And boy, there is a lot to talk about. So much so that me and a shiny ray will have a big discussion about it in a future podcast episode. So make sure you subscribe and you won't miss it. It's bound to be a great episode. For now, I just want to thank you for watching. Please subscribe, leave a thumbs up, it does really help. And let me know what you like or dislike in this voyage. I always read all your comments. So have fun with the Legend of the Veil, vale, steal some Athena loot, drink some grog, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Oh, and for those watching that want to hear my final opinion about Season 6, um, yeah, it might just be the best season yet. So yeah, there it is. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.